Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Arbit from AJ Sports here. We have Colin from Griffin Hockey UK. He is the owner of Griffin Hockey UK as well, so we'll get some really good insights into the latest range of hockey sticks from Griffin for the 2024-25 season. Colin, great to have you here. Good to be here, thanks. Great. Um, you have a lovely range of hockey sticks to show us today. So over to you. All right, thank you. Um, so start with the one that everyone gets the most excited about from us, which is the Tour, um, which I guess colour-wise tapping into an Olympic year is in gold medal gold. Um, I'm sure that we will get at least a few of our representatives over there in Paris holding this, hopefully on the top step of the podium. This is the most powerful stick in our range. Uh, it's the one with the most sophisticated touch and feel. Um, it has what we call a 100 CQ output. Um, we don't talk in terms of percentages of carbon. We might talk about that later, but we talk about how you might expect this to feel. So carbon quotient is what we consider to be uh, derivative, uh, indicative of the output of the stick. So we, if you're looking for a stick that has a really high carbon um, content, carbon feel, stiffness, this is the one to go for. Uh, the material that's infused into the handle called Craybon uh, will basically give you a more cushioned touch and feel on the ball. So while you're getting an ultra responsive touch, that edge is taken off it to give you a real nice, comfortable stick to play with, as well as achieving an awful lot of power. Um, it's available in uh, all of our key shapes, uh, the Pro 25, the late bow, the D2, the extra late bow, and the Samurai, which is the extra late bow with a groove. Uh, with a very nice 3D finish on there this year, lots of little touchy-feely bits. Um, and yeah, that's basically that one. Okay. Um, next one up is the Blue Steel. Um, so the Blue Steel is a very well-known Griffin stick, been around for a very long time since we introduced composites into our range back when they first came through. Um, touch and feel aspect on this is slightly different. The power output is very, very similar. The top three sticks in our range are all made to what we call international player specifications. So um, with that, you're getting the kind of power output that an international player wants and demands, but we've got very slight and subtle differences in terms of the touch and feel to determine that individual characteristic that our players ask for. So this one is the most responsive stick in the range in terms of that personal touch and feel you'll get. As soon as the stick and ball come together, you know it. As soon as you're moving it, you know it. Um, it really has got the most con personal connection of any stick in the range, but a good level of power as well in a very sharp looking blue graphic for this year. When you say responsive, the most responsive, what do you mean by that? Is it when the is it just a touch or is it when they're striking the ball where does that both really so when the stick and ball come together there's an energy uh wave created mm -hmm. so whether you're receiving it or giving it that energy wave is that is that contact now the speed at which that travels up the stick and registers in your hands is what we would determine as being something which governs the responsiveness or the touch and feel characteristics of a stick so the stiffer the stick the faster the energy wave will transfer in either direction um, so obviously from a hitting output point of view, that means that the energy, more of the energy of your swing is put through the ball, creates a little bit more power. From a receiving point of view, that travels up the stick a bit quicker. You're going to feel that connection uh, more quickly into your hands. You're going to be more aware of what's going on. Everything's just going to feel a bit sharper. It's kind of like if you go into a, uh, say, a top-end uh, smooth saloon car versus a top-end sports car. You touch the accelerator on a top-end sports car, the thing roars at you. On the other side, it's a little bit smoother and it, it takes a little bit longer or a lower engine takes longer again. So with, uh, with, with hockey sticks, that really de um, determines how that contact is going to feel for you. Um, so really, it comes down to the way that the materials within there you react yeah. really under stress a uh, 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 sort of a, 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 a micro level mm. um, and uh, yeah that's really what top players determine as their preference yeah, yeah. Now, so next up is the striker so striker is more in tune with the uh, the uh, blue steel there um, where you've got something which is uh, again a nice just takes the edge off that, that first touch. So it gives you a little bit more of a slightly more cushioned feel uh, than that one, but still very responsive, very powerful stick available again in the, in the main three shapes, the Pro 25, D2 and Samurai. Mm -hmm. 
that would be what we would consider as I say that real top end after that we move into a graduated range yeah. to suit club players of all ages and abilities from those that are making their way into the adult game through to again people that are playing at a decent level is there a particular one that international players prefer or is it just purely personal preference uh, personal preference we do see a bit more tour mm. um, definitely in the order of the three of them there tall blue steel and then striker would be the preferred option so uh, moving on to the others um, Diablo is the first one in the Diablo red uh, and again what we've basically got now is everything is really working on that Pro 25 shape that real good all rounder of a shape but with uh, the, the, the performance and the playability the stick kind of going down on the sliding scale yeah. so you'll get more of an emphasis towards touch mm -hmm. versus power um, you can really think about the whole things working on a sliding scale that with carbon up here and, and glass fiber down here you'll get power and a sharper touch as you go like this you drop off the potential power a little bit but you get that more cushion touch so here we're still very much at that upper end of things with this uh, and a stick that's going to give you a really nice output and a pretty good pretty responsive first touch yeah. um, but at the same time not something that is too difficult to handle for either a, a sort of a, a good club player um, or a junior that's pretty aspirational about what they're doing yeah so essentially more carbon the stick has the more likely it is to bounce off if yeah in the hands of the wrong player yeah. yeah I mean you've got to have something which you know we, I would always say to players and, and it's, it's difficult because everyone seems to think that oh I get a better stick I'll become a better player you know the sticks aren't magic wands they, they don't do anything unless you're working with them so bottom line of it is is you really should progress your game with a stick that is progressing at the same way that, that you are you wouldn't yep. put a learner driver in a fiesta you put them in a in a ferrari you put them in a fiesta yep. so with this again as you're developing your technique go with a stick which is going to be able to sort of take off the rough edges that you've got but maximize everything you've got at the same time so you know begin with something that's lower down the range where it's going to be a bit more forgiving on the first touch it's going to help you cushion the ball um don't go trying into one of these things yes you're going to hit it harder in mm. terms of the power output will go up but it's not going to mean that you go from hitting it five times out of ten well to ten times out of ten it's just going to mean those five times it goes faster yeah. in in the right direction the five times you didn't get it quite right it's just going to go faster in the wrong direction so technique comes first stick grows with technique yeah so next up would be the elan uh, nice sharp colorway on this one uh, obviously blue is always popular um, and the jade green is something that is just really the mainstay of a lot of sportswear these days and sports equipment um, so that's a really really popular mid uh, upper end of the middle part of the set the range there um, good stick for a wide group of players yeah um, on to the eye-catching atomic um, which again, sort of knits together that first part of the range with this next end. Um, so at this point, you're getting something which again is a really almost a complete midpoint um, balance between mm. that output and touch. Okay. So something that is going to really enable you to get a good first touch on the ball, but still a nice amount of power. Mm -hmm. um, from there, we drop down to the solo. Um, two color options now on this one. Um, so we have the lilac for those that prefer something a bit softer. And then again, that nice sharp blue and blue um, on that option there. Um, before finally we move down to the Cobra. Again, flipping back into that jade green, teal, um, and then the black and teal option here. So again, a couple of good looks depending on how you prefer your equipment to, to be. While obviously color is not, you know, it's not gonna make a stick one way or the other, there is that aspect. And we probably spend as much time on the way they look as, as anything else these days. Once you've gotten into your specs and you've got those right, and you know, we've been doing this now for a very long time, since 86. Yeah. So Griffin was there right at the birth of composites. Spent time in China, learned how composite products work, and then developed that into what a hockey stick needed to be. So. Yeah rather than just you know sit back and think oh these aren't going to happen that's what we did so mm. um while a lot of that work still is out here today i mean the way that a griffin stick is made is a little bit different and the foundation of what was developed there by the brand founder peter hazelhurst is still the cornerstone of what we're yeah. doing here the look 
obviously is very, very important because you want any stick to first of all be picked off the shelf. And secondly, whenever you see that, yeah, time for hockey, I wanna play.